I have to take my brain cells out for a walk. I, I know I haven't been here for a while, but I'm here now. Hey guys, it's Alisa here and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be critiquing roasting your art. I really wanted to record something for my YouTube channel because it was so abandoned, really abandoned. And you are asking me to make a new video, so here I am. I'm doing it for you. Be thankful. I'm joking. It's like early here. It's early. It's 12 p.m. Bruh. I hope you can hear me well because I'm kind of far from my microphone. I'm going to hate myself when I'm going to be editing this video. Probably. Uh? Don't f move. Not now, please. Ryor Dan says, I just saw Alicia's Insta story and thought, why not? I mean, agree. Uh, here's my digital art that I did of Claudine Wolf and Draculaura from Monster High. Rose this and I'll be so appreciated. Appreciated. You'll be appreciated. I mean, you are appreciated. I do appreciate you. I need to grab my iPad. Okay, so um, in the beginning, you can see me tr kind of trying to bigger her boobs. It's not because I think she had two little boobs, but I was trying to make her proportions, like every shape in this drawing, a little bit more prominent. So I was using a lot of liquify tool, and I'm not going to work a long time on this drawing because I see how lazy it is. I don't mean it in a bad way. Like if you are a beginner artist, it's okay but take more time on your art. I can see the way you shade, like you don't even take time to make it look pretty. You could just with your hand and I really don't like that, but I'm going to try and correct a little bit. You can see me using my just hair brush set to correct the hair and I'm not taking a lot of time, but I just want to show you that even though you can, you want to make something really fast, you can still do it, make it look good look at the big picture make everything intentional make the shapes just look good together by by thinking about the composition before you just randomly put them onto your drawing and also the contrast i'm making the thing this thing white because it will pop more everything will be a little bit more separated from each other and even though it's white in the middle because the lines next to the black lines are purple it still gives slight illusion that it's, it's kind of purple-ish also just had to quickly correct the black stripes covered by pink shading doesn't make sense like this is the top tier lazy shading don't do that so this is the before and after i did not take a lot of time to correct this but you can see already with a few right strokes with a few right techniques you can already make it look so much better okay so la vie illustration hey alicia i just saw your instagram story i finally find my style and this drawing inspired from your own version yes yes this was something i did i, I thought like i recognized this but i wasn't sure i don't know what that says about me as an artist uh colors and something else so what do you think about it this is my instagram by the way la vie illustration okay what i think about it what do i th do you want to know what i think Okay, so I'm not going to correct it. I don't think I, I don't think I would want to anyways. Actually, I have it here. I have it literally. I have this drawing in front of me, so I can like compare. Mm. Did I have something? Did I have something in my teeth the whole time? So I think you could use a little bit more contrast. Although I think in between my drawing and your drawing, it's like the same colors, but they are not placed in an effective way. So you're not using the potential of the colors that you have here. Also, I think the face could be a little bit more shaded. Um, eyes, also a little bit too light. Like they don't catch the attention. They don't make me look at them. And they should because eyes are like really detailed. I think you, you wanted me to look at the eyes. And of course the, the face mostly. But I don't know if they catch my attention. The thing that catches most of my attention is actually this area, which is not good because it has the most contrast. You see the red is really strong and then the black is strong and then the white because the, the contrast and the details are really in this place, like really strong. If you like zoom in here, you see that the whites of her eyes are dirty, which make it pop less if you want to make the eye whites darker make it darker but make it planned like make it it was on purpose not by accident because now it's 
everything like loses dimension. You have to be more decisive with what you shade, what, what kind of lines you are adding and what are you not adding. Like make it more confident, more confident shapes of shading, uh, light and line art, a little bit more confident. Don't make it like dirty and dirty colored, make it... How do you say this word? Purposeful? Intentional. Make it look intentional. A lot of places are missing contrast to make it pop more. In general, I really like the soft vibe of this drawing, but soft doesn't mean it can't have contrast. It's try to work with that, and I think the hands should be with a real reference. Hands are the easiest things you can take your reference pictures from. So just do it and draw from that. Also, I did not see that this is a phone. I had to really look into it. Like a line right here to separate the face from the phone would be nice and less of those red strokes everywhere i mean i get it here like some other places outside because the light from the background would be hitting her hair but here it doesn't make sense so even for like aesthetic purposes you can do some unrealistic things but you have to be careful if it actually works this is too much and too not intentional like you need to plan it out more i think but i like it in general and i like the vibe Okay, in the beginning I was not planning to correct this drawing, but I I just gotta do it. I see so much potential that's not used and so little work to make it look completely different, so let's go. The first thing I wanted to do, the first thing I really needed to do is adding some contrast and making the eye whites clear. They can be dark, but just don't make some mistakes because you are too lazy to do it properly. So adding the contrast, so you can see me also like blending out the skin. It's not because I don't like the skin. I mean, there's something to correct, of course, but it's mostly because if I want to work on it, I don't feel like adding the noise effect every time. So this is just for me to make it easier today. So don't think about it too much. I'm making everything clear. Like the base is so important. Also the pink the bright pink i don't mean it's a bad idea to use it because you could see in my drawing the way i did this scene from um, jennifer's body i used a lot of it but you need to be intentional with it you need to think about where it will fit try it out like such a big part of my drawing routine is trying out what works what doesn't make a few versions and see where it works the best compare it with each other and then choose the best option. You can see I use it under the eyes, a little bit on the eyelids, a little bit even where the eyebrows I liked next to the eyebrows. It will work in places that you can't even like imagine it would work. So try everything out, everything you need, take your time. Um, I use a little bit of liquify tool. It's mostly because I just wanted to correct some of the proportions, but that wasn't so important to be honest. The biggest difference you can see right here is the contrast and the right use of the saturation. So the dark, dark hair next to her face and her bright skin is really like making it pop. It's making the drawing really come alive and have a dim dimension. Oh, and of course I had to add some of my favorite eyelashes. The brushes for those eyelashes are in the perfect eyelashes brush set by the way right here this is the before and after and yeah I, I think it's a big big difference it's not such a difficult thing to do if you understand it if you use the contrast the right way you can do it yourself at home like no problem trust me so F. hello everyone i had seen at least this story so i thought i might drop a few of my works for constructive criticism over here Y'all can find me on Insta with F Illustrates. Hello, F. I think I think I saw you somewhere. I saw this drawing somewhere. Maybe you tagged me on Instagram. I don't know. Oh, I like it. I, I like this one for the table or uh, the how much depth and detail and actually well done detail there is here. When it comes to the face, number one thing I would change is the hair. It's like so out of place. It should also have this kind of more outline, more contrast. And right here it looks so blended and so you can still achieve this effect of shiny hair and fit it into your style. I don't think the hair fits at all. Uh... Where is the... I don't... Wait. I have to take 
my brain cells out for a walk. Number one, where is the second teat? Number two, where, where is the butt? Where does it end? Where does it begin? What is happening? I'm sorry to be so, so blanted. Blanted? But this, there's so much wrong with this drawing. I don't think you made any kind of sketch for this, like laying out the anatomy and like the composition and like maybe you know where everything is, but I have no idea. And also the face is kind of scary. I, I'm sorry, but I don't like it and I don't even know where to begin. The worms are talking to me. Da, da. Again, her face, like the shading you tried to do on her here, like from her hair, the shading, it's not going to be like gradient all over her face. It's going to cut somewhere here because the, the hair is not here to make a gradient. Even if it was here, it would fall pretty much a straight line on her face. So no gradient. Now her face looks like it's warped like inside. Like the shapes and the shading don't make sense together. So work on, on the shading of the faces because the rest is not bad. Really, like the rest you execute in a good direction. But the faces, I don't know what's, what's happening. Really, I, I love how you draw objects, but I don't love the way you draw people. You have to work on the faces more, that's for sure. I will take this drawing, actually, and I will correct it. I will show you what I mean. Also, I will change the hair so it fits your art style. And we'll see, we'll see. You, you'll see, I'm not just mean, I'm actually right. I'll prove it to you guys. This is not unnecessary. First thing I want to start out with is making her face flat colors so I can begin laying out the colors the correct way or at least the way I think will work way better. Um, so I want to get rid of that weird purple shading that she had going on under her blonde hair. Makes no sense. No sense at all. Her blonde hair, which is a warm color, covering her forehead and the light trying to come through the blonde hair, the only result you can ever get from this is warm colors. So if you want to change the hue of the color of the shading under her hair, it's going to be warmer, not colder. I am going to lay out every color. It doesn't look good at first, but it's important to have a good base. Without a good base, you can be suffering later for hours trying to correct something that you could have just taken a little bit more time on in the beginning. I am not even doing it the 100% true way because I'm trying to do it a little bit faster. Um, but in a real, real process, you should lay it out really thoughtfully so you know what you're doing and look at the reference really well. You can see me starting to blend things out a little bit. I'm trying to just not do anything special, just make the skin smooth and easy to work with. I know I have deleted all of those special effects that you tried to add, like the circles kind of shading and kind of lighting. I will add it in the end. Don't worry about that, but trying to add it too early, trying to add the details, the quirky details, too early can be really, really bad for your drawing process. Now I'm adding some hard shadows with the flat, flat soft shading brush from my Cartoonish Makeup brush set. And I'm adding it as a second step after blending and after the soft shading because it's way easier and way more effective to do it in this order. You can see me making a lot of geometrical figures that I'm going to blend out partly later, but um, like that, I know for sure that is right. Remember, if the base colors and the base overall is happy, you will be happy in the end. I am putting my whole heart on these words. And you might notice on the reference, mm, she's not really looking... Uh, she's not looking good and i agree that's why i'm using it of the liquify tool and i use the airbrush brush to give it some um overall soft shading to make her face three-dimensional you know and if you want to compare go back and go back here again to see how much of a difference it made just those two little steps the liquify and the airbrush okay so finally it was time to 
get working on the hair and I hate the way you just made some random hair strokes around her head which like don't make any sense at all to me so for the whole hair I will be using the brushes from my juicy hair brush set remember all the brushes are on my website aliciaprince.com the links or the link is in the description don't worry and I am trying to clean up the the whole hair composition and I'm trying to make it make sense although hairs are single like hairs they are so small so little but they create hair groups and the groups are really important to understand and you need to draw the groups of hairs like curls or straight hair in a way that makes sense realistically and in a way that makes sense artistically so right now if you would compare this hair with the previous hair the previous hair looks so out of place you can have your own opinion of like this hair looks worse or something which i don't think so because this hair follows a lot of rules that you should follow when drawing making any kind of art but it fits the art style no matter what you say you can disagree that these hairs don't fit the art style more because they do this now it looks like it's a whole drawing it it's together it fits together it's in the same universe you see i hope you can feel it too but i feel like after i corrected it she's actually sitting in this room she's together with the background with everything and now now let's do the little quirky details part which which are a special part of your art style which i don't want to delete and i want to show you how to do it better so as you probably noticed i am selecting an area and then using the brush the specific brush that everyone gets on procreate and then i'm shading with it i'm selecting an area and now right now on the banks and i'm going to shade the most in the middle so it slowly softly goes uh, lighter less visible to the sides you know it's not perfect but it's a more clean good looking way of of using this kind of effect remember give everything everything you do a little thought how to do it the right way and and try it out as you can see like on the lips also it looks still you gave an extra effect and it still looks like the same universe it can look good just do it purposefully do it intentionally and not just the first thing that you should think of and you just do it don't be like that think about the right solutions for the ideas that you have now Ali, hi here's my latest drawing an attempt of a little smile an attempt of a little smile this sounds so adorable an attempt of a little smile that's so cute oh my god i'm sorry guys i'm just hungry this is beautiful. I love I love her face is so so full. So, like you have so less. But no, she is so full. I can feel her. I can feel her presence. It might also be the ghost. Bruh. I can see the soul here. Beautiful. I don't have anything to say. I love it. Another one that I'm really proud of. And you should. You should be proud of it. It's really, really beautiful. I don't like the background, but it's really beautiful. That's all I have to say. Beautiful. Viver. I just saw the Alita Instagram story and thought this drawing would be would do the trick. Let's see. This drawing is one of my earliest sketches, but I really like the mood. Oh my god. Ew. What the fuck? I mean, I, I kind of like it though. I don't know what happened for you to make this kind of drawing. I surely my emetophobia is not happy with this drawing. It has a vibe. Like, I will not say it's a bad drawing because it's not. It's not a bad drawing. Even the idea, idea is 
great. You did something different, that's for sure. Pedro Ulara. This is my latest Lilith from Diablo Flow 4. I don't, I don't know how... I forgot how to read Roman num numbers. With muscles and less clothing. Hmm, that's what we like, I guess. I mean, that's what I like. That's what I like for sure. Okay. I guess. When it comes to this style, I, I, I can't say anything. Although, like this hand, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. Even if it's like this on a reference you used, you could make it look better. Try to play with it. When your eyes don't accept the way something looks, sometimes it's better to just change it in a way that's not necessarily like on the picture, but it will just look better. You can use some geographical uh, um, shapes. <laughs> you can use some shapes to do that. Compositions. But I love it. I love it. Ceresi, I've been following your art style and I love it so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I practice looking at your drawings, but please, I don't know, it's so hard. Okay, I could practice looking at my drawings. I mean, I hope looking at my drawings is not that hard. I love the hand. I think the hand, I, ha I think I drew a hand like this somewhere. I like, I love, I love it. It's so cute. I feel like it's not obviously not enough shading, but I I think you just you are just not there anymore uh, anymore anymore Yet I, I love it. Like I think proportions are good. I think composition is almost good I, I can see you I, like I don't hate the composition at all. Like it's really good. It fills the, the paper really well. Yeah, the space is well Placed I, I think rendering is what you need to do more it's to make your drawings more full of life and more interesting and just to um, better yourself but I, I i don't have anything to complain to be honest it's a really cute drawing so okay and the last one is julia 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 ah uh, is that you is that the person i know maybe so julia oh my god okay so this is besides the lips like if i cover the lips, then uh, it's gr great. I love it without the lips. You know what? I actually, I, I want to change them because the whole drawing is so cool. I, I will change some more things though. But the lips are like, they kind of, because because the, the corners are so small, they make the whole skin look so thin. But there's so much more shading here happening. So yeah, I, uh, let me take it into Procreate. This is gotta be the fastest correction I have ever made because this is going to take like a few minutes real life and here like a few seconds. I did not correct anything else because I felt like after correcting the lips it looked great. Basically I add some color, I blend it out, I add some more color, I blend it out more and I'm done. Like just the only thing I was concerned about is no volume at the lips, no not enough shading, too thin of a shading. Not realistic, not at least not the same realism as the rest of the drawing. So this is the difference comparison before and after. I hope you like it. This will be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to support my art, then make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you liked it and what would you want to see in the next video. Also, if you want to get my brushes, the best brushes for Procreate in the whole wild world, then you can go to my website alitsoprints.com and get them there. I will really appreciate it because it supports my art career and everything I do. I mean, I hope to see you again. I hope you hope to see me again. Bye-bye.